Well, hello there, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode number four. Episode number four of Going Medieval. It's great. It's a really great game. So we're going to dive right in. Um, in this in this episode, we're going to be uh, focused on surviving the winter. Um, Going Medieval is a community management game from Foxy Voxel. And when we left off, we had just finished constructing um, the smithy. So we just finished constructing the smithy, um, putting some beds in on the second floor there um, in rooms that are, are heated for the winter. And so we're going to need to get some clothes for our uh, community members. Uh, we've got... Um, actually, you know what? They're, they all they all found winter clothes. I guess um, when in the last stream I told someone to make some winter clothes. Yeah, it looks like winter clothes have been made. So that's good. I don't have to do that. Um, great. So <laughs> the key is going to be surviving the winter. and We're already one step ahead. Definitely going to need to harvest some food. I want a good stockpile of berries. Also want to get some of this. Um, I don't know if it's flax or barley over here. I think it's, it's flax. Um, but we'll get some of this stuff here too. Uh, the things that grew in the courtyard after the last planting and all the berries. And I'm just going to basically have everybody harvest and then halt for a while. And we'll, we'll bring everything in. We'll see what we get. Um, more berries there. And there should be there's more berries here. Are there berries over here? I don't know if there are. They're in the forest. I don't see them. Okay. And someone's gonna have to go hunting um, because we'll need some we'll need some meat. But let's pull everybody off of whatever they're doing, and uh, we just want harvesting and hauling. And so I'm gonna give these out as group orders to the whole crew. Move myself away from the other thing. There we go. Yeah. So speed time up, I guess. Um, we also are, of course, of course, going to need to haul in these things here that are just now starting to decay. They'll, you know, it's raining, so items left out in the rain take damage. Um, boy, don't I know that. I just uh, I just came home from work, and uh, I was left out in the rain all day. I, <laughs> it's a very rainy, wet, muddy day here. Um, I, I am a landscaper, um, which is funny because I, you know, I, I dig holes, I lay stone, <laughs> I plant things, and then I come home and I play games in, in which um, oftentimes I'm digging holes or laying stone or planting things. Um, there's just some some commentary there on uh, Protestant work ethic, perhaps. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's what I do for a living, and today was a hard day. It was a very hard day. It was a short day because it poured rain, and I was covered with mud and grime at the end of it. But uh, it was hard, and so... I'm home and I'm I'm uh, I'm clean and we've got iron ingots appearing through the wall. Uh, that's not good. It's coming from the smelter there. That's the closest spot for it. I feel like we're gonna need to, to resolve that corner anyhow. So for now, I'm gonna put some clay there. We don't actually have any clay, I don't think. Um, but. And I'm actually going to remove those. Yeah, we don't have any clay stairs down so I can get the iron. And that's that's going to be the uh, the outer wall, that line it's on anyway, I think. Maybe maybe the outer wall is going to be bigger than that. We'll, we'll, we'll see in the end. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect square. Um, and sometimes having um, offsets and angles... Um, stepped in and out can give you better firing lines. Um, not that that's something I'm worried about right now, because everything's coming at the gate at the moment. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming we'll get attacked sometime this winter, perhaps even uh, before winter, maybe once at the end of fall, but definitely in the early winter, um, there will be a Elmer's freaking out. He's freaking out, man. Um, don't let me forget this time. I want cooking and I want stone blocks. That's great. That's absolutely great. So now I can put down a stonemason's bench. Um, we're actually going to put it here behind where the pyre was. And the pyre is going to be moved. Um, the pyre that, again, miraculously just doesn't have build orders, um, is going to be moved out here. Uh, we'll just put it in the center courtyard there. <sighs> Not that anyone's going to fulfill that order for a while because they're they're busy harvest oh we got uh, herbs too herbs herbs definitely need those no question 
Um, everybody's everybody's hauling everything in though. That's that's good. Starting to see. We don't see the berries anymore. Did they get them all already? Is that must have got them all already? Yeah, they're they're there. That's fantastic. Okay, wow. Um, I'm just gonna fill our storeroom. And then, uh, what else do I need to put down urgently? So, I think this winter we're going to focus on expanding the kitchen. Um, at, you know, building it up out of stone, up to two stories, uh, a little bit larger, filling out its footprint, and putting a, uh, a, a, uh, a hearth in it, like this, uh, this limestone stove. Seems like the best course of action, um, just to, you know, guarantee that our community will uh, thrive and survive in the, the coming seasons. And then the gate. So it's going to be kitchen, um, whatever building goes here, tailoring building probably, and then gate. Um, and then we'll, we'll do it in that order, because I think the gate will hold for another attack. Beyond that, um, I'm a little worried that if a trebuchet comes up, oh, we're going we're gonna to have some problems. Um, okay. And they hauled in some hay. We need we need more hay. Do I even have a place to store hay? Does this have? Yeah, you can keep keep fodder in the main stockpile. Um, and after the gate, the next step after these two buildings and the gate, the next step is going to be um, to like finalize the stockpile area here. Make this a really yeah. You know, this 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 wall would be easy to to demo through with a trebuchet too. Yeah. Trebuchet is a is a nightmare if if one happens to pop because we'll be left defending the only stone building, um, and this this soft stone actually isn't too good against the siege equipment either. So, and I'm I'm committed to playing this through. Like if I'm if I'm doing a video and the bad thing happens, I'm not gonna just load from save and try to do like a whole retake. Um, we're we're doing these as continuous takes. Um, so if the bad thing happens, I'm going to have to try to turn it into the good thing. That's the idea. And I, I really do, you know, I want my community members to survive as much as possible. If somebody dies, we'll, we'll, we'll bury them and, you know, say a prayer over their, over their grave, I guess. But, uh, okay. Yeva's having a freak out. Why are they having freak outs? What's their saw a dead body? Well, there's a fucking dead body right there. So maybe that's a problem. And they're they're all running past the whole pile of corpses here. That could be a problem. Now they're bringing in the stone, and they're bringing in some hay. I think. And they're bringing in some woods. I wonder. I wonder if I can get the dog in the keep because the dog's hanging around the. Uh, or in the uh, in the upper ward there, so the dog is hanging around the entrance, and I feel like if I open the doors, maybe the dog will. I've never, I've never tried to get an animal. Maybe I'd have to pen it somehow and lure it inside. I don't know. I really don't understand how the dogs work. Asked that in the last video. Training, releasing, or slaughtering. Don't want to slaughter it or release it. Um, training, may be, training may be the key, but giving it commands. Oh, we got a pack of wolves just trucked through there. I guess they were supping on the dead body here. Actually, I actually don't know where that body went. Uh, better to not ask questions, I guess. Right? They're bringing sticks. It's a bit of a waste of time. Um, yeah, it's already a low priority stockpile. I could, uh, there's not really a better option either. That's fine. We're, we're just going to roll through this for a couple days, I think, in game, um, as things happen. But they, they're going to, they're going to haul in everything that we need for the winter. Um, we've got 12 deer just arrived. Oh boy. So that's, uh, and they're right out front. 
How many archers do I have? That's going to fill the larder. That's, that's almost too many deer. Um, and everybody except for Francis is now going to be priority one hunting for right now. I guess Wallace is also going to be. Let's turn this to two. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Just make a beeline. For... Oh, you had an order there. They don't seem to be too good at hunting. It's a good problem here. Reserves too. Where'd the herd go? All the herd's over here now. Still haven't got any, as far as I can tell. Might make sense, more sense to just have a single hunter as opposed to a whole group chasing them. Look, they got split up and the bad archers are missing and scaring them, like... Or to pen them on the edge of the map somewhere and to slaughter them. That would be... I guess, and you can do that too. In the in the winter, you can build like a complicated trap, like a maze that the deer will go into with food that you've placed at the center in a stockpile because the animals will opportunistically go eat things from your... Hey, the dog just went in! Uh... Okay. So, we're going to close these doors ASAP. Except that won't work, will it? Why won't it work now? How do I... I guess instead of closed, it's default. You have to default the doors. Prioritize setting the default state in the door. There we go. And the dog is in the courtyard that's good at least it'll you know it'll be able to eat i don't think we get a single damn deer there nothing on the stockpile um and the stockpile yeah we'll receive animal carcass so yeah we just so far we're failing at hunting that's no good waste of a day if you ask me a little bit distracted there when those 12 deer showed up. I feel like that's uh, we'll get them in the second day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have every single person. I mean, the, the melee fighters can't hunt, I don't think, but maybe they can. I don't know, maybe they'll still kill it. And I could also just build a pen around them, but I, I feel like they'd move before I finished. And it's just, it's a lot of resources. Um, take all my sticks. But that said, I'm going to have to build new pens anyway. Like, I need to split my animal types up. Like, this is just going to be a, a sheep fold here, I think, uh, beside the tailors. It's not actually going to be meat farming, and we're going to have to put uh, probably like cattle range uh, out, outside the wall here. Yeah, they don't seem to be doing much productive. Off hunting. Kill something, damn you. Kill something. You don't hit that deer. Oh, he hit it. <laughs> oh, you scrub, Elmer. You scrub. You do any better? That was an easy shot. You guys suck. Now, this is a way to raise your settler's archery skill over time too. Um, so that's, I, I'm going I'm to leave them doing it because I need them to be good archers. Long term, they're going to need to be... Oh, there's, I didn't realize there was stone over there too. There's a big patch of stone here. Um, yeah, they're going to need to be good archers irrespective of what happens. Um, so I may as well do it now while the stakes are relatively low um, and get some stakes. The stakes are low and we'll get some stakes. Okay. Um, 
We got woods. We got sticks. We got stone. Lots of stone, actually. Enough stone to uh, build a whole other building out of the gate. Um, so I'm going to start blocking that out now. Remember I said that the hard the wall is going to go along this next course. So this is uh, an interior wall. I guess I can build it right out to there to match up with. Yeah. Great. Deer group has left. We got nothing. Fuck. If we did, I didn't. I didn't get a notification. Um, okay. That's good. And as far as the size of these structures, I'm I'm I think just gonna build right around. That's a little weird, isn't it? On that corner, wonky kinda. How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wide. So I want it to be seven wide, not eight wide. That makes sense to me. Uh, we'll just cancel these build orders. Uh, align. I like that linear cancel feature a lot. Um, that it just, yeah, it's it's good. And we've how wide is it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll actually make that seven wide. And on this other building, it's going to go here. And we'll just double check if maybe there's symmetry. Yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Ah, uh huh. So this this structure is going to be one unit longer unless I make this. That would be okay. I don't care if that's six wide. It doesn't have to be seven wide. Um, six makes sense to me. Yep, this is good. This is a very, very good uh, layout. You can start to see it coming together. And just for two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So my door would be there. Uh, I don't know why I'm not running time while I'm doing this. It isn't exactly high stress work. And yeah, so that's that's a great um, footing for two buildings there. And once that has been picked up, we're going to put stone. Oh, I understand what's going on here. So this is actually going to be stone, isn't it? Yeah. All right. OK, that's that's fine. So this is going to be a stone wall. This is going to be the outer stone wall, and then it's going to have the ashlar facing on it, and the ashlar facing is going to go up here on top of the... Yeah, that that's great. I think. I think I did the math. This is going to need to move. Uh, I don't really know where we're going to relocate it to. Um, here seems fine for now, because we're not... And we're also going to need to relocate the uh, butcher's bench. Because that's, that's going to wind up going in the uh, enlarged kitchen building. Once I've dug out that basement a little bit more and moved some shelves down there, um, we're likely going to put the um, butchery in there. Okay, we've got lots of hay. Lots of wood, too. We've got lots of lots. And we've got tons of stone now. Tons of stone. They, uh, they hauled in everything. That's great. Might as well. We don't need the bones. I don't really know what bones are. Oh, we've still got lots of hay to pull in, too. That's probably going to be tomorrow. Um, I'm going to leave it. You know what? Until until the snow falls um, on that first day of winter, we're just going to let them haul because there's still hay to come in. They're bringing, you know, they're bringing in the harvest, so to speak. And this will be the last season we have to do this because next season we're going to have 90 barley in the ground, uh, I, I hope. Um, I hope we'll have 90 barley in the ground, but... So how's this building going to function? It doesn't really have a basement. So 
Yeah, that's okay. And the wall connection between them. Yeah, that's okay. And it's not going to go quite that far. And obviously I'm not going to de-roof this or anything until we're until we're ready to uh, promptly roof it because winter's just about to arrive. Um, I might even put a roof over this section and, and have like a semi-covered animal uh, animal area. Not, I don't think the animals have any malice at all um, and no downside uh, for being outside in winter. And that's uh, unlike RimWorld, unlike RimWorld where I, I'm fairly confident your animals can totally, totally starve and freeze. Um, I feel like maybe that should be amended. I don't know how serious the devs want to uh, make the game. Um, and there are certainly other things that need to uh, be attended to. One of which I think, you know, okay, hear me out on this, hear me out on this. Uh, I think when they add the community and like civic relations uh, features, like the, the, the people uh, interacting with each other, um, hanging out together, partying together, all the entertainment side, they need to add um, like theater. Hear me out on this. Um, theater could be uh, like a building type or a room type that you construct or, um, you know, something like that. Or, or there's a dedicated stage area that's denoted by the presence of something on it. And the community members have to dress up. So, you know, they just run around for the most part wearing their armor or you can put them in, in summer or winter clothes, take their armor off, put their armor on racks if you um, want them to work faster because they do move faster without armor on. Um, but there's like masks and, and crowns and stuff. And wouldn't it just be cool if um, in order to perform a play, you had to have not just like five community members participating in the room, but they'd have to be five community members participating in the room with clothing that you made, which put your tailor to work. Like this is luxury, good production. Um, and that's something missing from this game right now is like the luxury goods don't provide any luxury. Um, they don't do anything. And so there's, there's no, oh, my goat just gave birth to twins. Um, there's no, there's no real advantage uh to making anything like having a gold chest doesn't doesn't mean anything um and it should mean a bunch and and you know culture uh, building culture um the same could be done with religious services uh, maybe you need someone dressed up as a priest but i really hope bottom line i really hope they add social clothing i really have, hope they add social clothing that uh requires um thought put into it uh before you need it you get a bunch of chests with costumes in them this is the tickle trunk <laughs> okay so i guess this is going to have a second floor um which i guess is going to be a stone floor i don't see a point in making it a uh it's an even length room too isn't it Yes. So I, I don't see a point in... What am I trying to say here? Uh, I didn't see a point in something, but uh, I got distracted by needing to put a beam in here. Yeah. Damn, another settler, Aiken. Okay, what's Aiken's skill set? He's running from three archers, three fierce marauders, four marauders, and a ruthless marauder. So that's a you know an increasingly difficult gang. Um, he is confident mercenary. Um, again, we've already got a whatever mercenary. I don't need another melee character. I don't need another miner. I don't even want to know what his four perks are. And his religious alignment is all the way Oak Brethren. Like, he's a, an Oak Brethren zealot. And we still need to have an Oak Brethren um, uh, temple. So he's not going to be happy here. Like, it's just not going to work out with Aiden Crutchley. And he's running from the Philosophers of the Natural Order. I like them. Their traitor comes around. I think I have plus one standing with them now. I don't want to fight with them. So for the first time, we're going we're gonna to leave someone out in the cult. And we're not going to grow our community. Um, it's also one less mouth to feed because we're actually ticking down on our food here faster than I thought. I'd hoped we would get through winter um, on our stores, but it looks like we're just going to get two winter on our stores a couple days in, and then we're going to need to slaughter. Um, who's suffering from colds? You're not allowed to suffer from cold in my town. Uh, let's have you eat 
meals, not all food. Meals, please. Eat meals. I mean, I missed your schedule. No, you, you got a schedule. All right. Um, yeah, so everybody gets a little bit less happy for a little while um, after you tell someone no. No, you can't join our community. But long term, that decision was was better for the collective. We got a lot of iron there, too. Okay, snow's falling, which means we're now in building modes. We're taking everyone out of the hunt. Not that they did any hunting for the last little bits. We're putting everyone in building modes. And we don't really need haulers. We do need stewards. People who are going to do the important things. Yeah. Yeah, we'll build and then we'll mine and we're going to dig. Um, you know, th this basement on this uh, kitchen needs to expand. And we'll probably also floor the courtyard because um, I want to I want to like dig underneath it. And the only way I can do that is if it's if it's properly floored. This can go away now. I don't need it anymore. And they'll also move these things that I've been waiting for them to move. Yeah, so winter... Winter isn't coming. Winter has arrived. And that's okay. We'll survive. I think. So again, with the barn raising, like, they're just... They're so... Oh, they're gonna get blocked in there, though. I think. Yeah, this, this kitchen building is going to be much, much larger when I add that extra uh, two, two block spacing in the back of it. Anyone stuck? No. So sometimes they, they built... Yeah, so this... And I used to just built herself onto a... That's, that's just silly. That's just silly. So now I have to delete that block. I don't know if I can put that block back until... The outer wall is completed. Okay, um, it's uh, about time to start flooring. Start in that corner of that building. That's as big as I can go. That's fine. It's pretty big. Someone else got stuck. Yeva stuck. How is she? Oh, she's... Again, they're, they're, they're logic. Like, they need to just build away. They need to build away from... Uh, or, sorry, build backwards towards access. So if they walked into a space one way, they need to leave a space that same way, and they need to work from, like, their their, their AI should just be able to prioritize that. That that shouldn't require micromanagement or my attention. But it does. Um, I guess stuff like that will get better over time, and um, from what I read, I think that there's a plan to, um, uh, a substantial plan to add uh, very detailed and deep modding capabilities to this game. Um, which makes sense. You look at it like it's it's quite simple by design. Um, none of these objects are things that I couldn't make in um, uh, Blender if I if I wanted to. Um, and oh, they're building the door there. That's great. So yeah, like the simplicity of design, 3D modeling, um, the lack of complexity in lighting. Um, you know, it's not Arma. Um, it's not this like deep, powerful scripting engine. Like it's it's very simple stuff. And That'll probably lead to some cool mods. Um, if there are things that I've mentioned in my stream that don't exist or that the developers don't want to put in, maybe modders will. And of course, probably, probably, if I had to guess, get the mods. Like, I can see a Lord of the Rings mod, obviously. There's like, now build your own Minas Tirith. But maybe we'll get more uh, more historical mods, too. Like, I'd, I'd like a, a Dark Age... Um, 
like a more dark age, l low medieval uh, or early medieval um, level of technology and all of what, what am I thinking of? Um, like Brocks, Scottish Brocks or um, oh, yeah, what, are, what are they called? So they're, they're on islands, um, Celtic. Celtic island fortifications, uh, or, or uh, not fortifications, but they're like island settlements, crannies. Uh, so yeah, you get like bog crannies and and brocks. That would be cool, um, and not something that exists in going medieval right now, because it's you know it's a it's a, like Norman castle building. We got the ferocious swarm of wolves has arrived. Um, it's an it's Norman castle building. Um, they also say that, it, that one of the development plans is accumulating snow. Um, which I gotta tell you, like for a game that already simulates my day job, I uh, I also do snow removal in the winter, so um, a little bit triggered. I <sighs> came together. That came together real nice. All right, we'll roof it. Just like that. Just like that. Notice again, I'm still not uh, putting up uh, crenellations or wall walks at this time. Um, these are all uh, internal structures or are intended to be. Yeah, this castle's uh, coming together though. You're starting to see the like, and this is the important part of the castle here. Like, yeah, all the hoity-toity lordy stuff happens over here and the like status family lives in the like defensible residence, but you know, this is this is the meat and potatoes. Literally, this is where the people are. This is where the things that make the place work happen. Um, while we're building it first, it's uh, it's class, it's class analysis went into. It's in sort of the order of priority. Like you need a kitchen, you need a metalworking place, you need to make clothes and stuff out of cloth, um, and then. Then once you have like luxury production and the necessities covered and food and, and safety, um, then you can start to uh, engage in like architectural feats and build status residences, I guess. That's at least how I look at it. Floor is done in there. I don't fully know what's going to go on the second floor of this place. Um, I am going to, of course, because I want to make bedrooms, I'm going to enclose that stairwell. Do I have to enclose it on both floors? Yeah, I guess I will. Mm. No, no, I don't need to. Not right now, anyway. I'll get a workshop on the main floor, anyway. And they moved that... Whatever it's called. Um, the thing they needed moving. The, the smoker. The smoked meats maker. We still have a lot of limestone left after this building. Um, oh, I need that roof to... There we go. So I'm going to have them uh, destroy this roof now. Just going to... Okay. Maybe I'll just select... Nope. That? No. Nope. Too... Too visible. Uh, that. There we go. It's... Okay, they pulled down the wall, and uh, the roof rather, and I'm going to need them to pull down this wall, uh, but I can't without, what's the shortcut key to destroy something? It's K. Here we go. And I put some books on the floor, that's, that's no good. Okay, we'll delete those walls there, and delete those walls there. And we're gonna need to put in beams. So <laughs> just fucked everything up. Everything's fucked up in this building now. Uh, I think even like part of the floor collapsed because of my, oh, whatever, whatever. 
Uh, the animals are able to get in the building and so they're able to wander around the courtyard. That wasn't really an ideal order of operations for me there. Um, that might have just caused community disaster. Nobody's bed's exposed, though. That's really what matters right now. Um, and we've still got... So we're running out of stone. We are running out of stone. We're not going to have enough stone to finish this. If there's a cold snap, we might really have a problem. So the downside of winter construction is, like, you actually have to... have good weather. Like, it, it, it can really mess you up. I'm gonna just make a mirror image of the other building here. Alright, that makes sense. And then... And we're out of stone. We are out of stone. the feeding trough. Okay, so not bad for day two. Probably have a little bit of time left before a cold snap. But I'm gonna I'm gonna need to tell them to mine. Oh, they're, they're still getting more stone. I guess there's someone's been mining. Something happened. So we'll just mine down that row there, and across there, and there. Okay. And take everybody off construction. We still have food. So uh, tomorrow I need to cook, but not today. And everyone's going to go mine for a little bit until we get another pile of stone. And then we'll finish these buildings in one kind of... And we'll rush them if there's a cold snap, which means I'm going to need to uh, proactively put a heat source in this building. Oh, what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait um, because there's just like there's these are these are good spaces. I don't have to move things around again. And that floor there basically is just gonna need to gonna need to be completely torn down, and we're gonna have to replace it with an all stone floor for uh, for many reasons, but. And there they go. They're digging away. What are they? Oh, no, no, no. Don't dig this. I don't need clay. We don't need clay. Canceled. Okay. Boy, boy, they, uh, <laughs> they have a mind of their own, but, um, it's often not the mind you want them to have. I wanted them all mining here because we just need stone, guys. Like, get with the program. What if I give them all construct one and mine two? Does that make sense? And I'll leave steward two as well. That way they get to, yeah. So someone's building there and taking stuff down. That's good. I think this will result in completion of the structure faster. Somehow my wicker roof got cancelled, and I'm not quite sure. Maybe I deleted it by accident there. <sighs> okay, so cold snaps are bad because people lose consciousness. When people lose consciousness out in the open, someone has to go get them, that person can lose consciousness. This cold snap lasts for about a day and a half, usually. Um, sometimes is accompanied by, like, um, other bad things. But we should do we should do okay. I think everyone's still got winter clothes on. Um, that's the baseline standard for surviving, but there are going to be some people we're going to have to watch. Uh, meal preparation is missing, so yeah, I need to... 
this could get really dire in a hurry if I just let it go. We have 600 hay. I didn't even realize we had 600 hay. That's awesome. At least my food's not decaying. This, you know. I don't know what that symbol meant, but that wasn't a good symbol. To watch their health bars very closely. See who loses consciousness. They're all going to be suffering from colds. Two of them are annoyed. It's fine. I don't think anyone's going to leave the community at this point in time. There's a uh, Sort of, we're building critical, critical success uh, here, and let's finish the fence there. If someone gets the chance, and I'll uh, I'll cancel the rest of that fence. Ooh, I need to select something other than floor or wall. Ground to click on. There's a reason not to floor your entire courtyard, so you still got ground to click on. No. Nope. Uh, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Deconstruct. Oh, Elmer just passed out. That's not good. Oh, he's back on his feet. Seward is... Seward trapped? Or is Seward just taking a little nappy nap? I think Seward's just taking a little nappy nap. Yeah, he can get out of there if he wants to. Um, I'm also going to prioritize uh, attending and convalescing to level 1. So this 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 won't confuse them. Um, but if they're injured, if they've got low health, they're just going to go find their bed and lie down. Um, and hopefully all the beds are in places. Yeah, they are in heated places. That's good. These beds are not in heated places. These beds are outdoors. Oh god. Okay. Slow time down here. One second. I can't I can't have anyone die. Okay. This building's enclosed now, right? It's fully enclosed. Yeah, it's it's doesn't have a roof, but we're actually gonna rush beds into this space and a brazier for at least this season. See, so yeah, I was going to put a brazier in that corner, and I was like, nah, I won't, and now I'm like, yes, I need to. Um, so let's, let's make it just like barracks. I mean, this, this is a little bit less eventful of a stream, um, but this is, this is really like when this game starts to get good as winter rolls in. Uh, Elmer is also going to construct that bed. Uh, I need Francis. He's unconscious. Yeva's convalescing. Wallace needs to build that third bed. No, not the goat. Not the goat. The... He can't build a bed. Can he build a brace here? Yeah, he can. Okay. And we're going to not cancel that. Okay, this is fine. There's wood. There's hay. There's iron. I think Yeva will survive. Yeah, she's not, uh, she's not losing health there. She went to a warm room. Okay, that'll keep people in that room alive. Um, you know, the internal temperature is still minus 6, but it's not minus 40. Right, and these guys are sleeping in minus fucking 40 here. What, what temperature is Yeva's room? Her room's like 5 degrees. 5 degrees in these um, rooms with the closed windows. I don't know why this room is so cold. Maybe just because it's so big and therefore... Oh, it's still open. That's why. It's still technically outside. That's no good. If I've got to build a ramp down from that to get someone out, I will build a ramp to get someone out. Francis is unconscious. That's not good. Where's what so temperature is he in? Should be pretty warm there. Yeah, okay, so he won't be losing health there, I don't think. But he's gonna lose health everywhere else. I need to take some of these beds down now as well, so that nobody uses them. And we really need these beds done, guys. Like, I can't. Can't stress enough how important that is that you get those beds done. Here, I talked in this stern tone and they did it. Okay, 
who's low on health now? No one's died, right? No, no one's died. Who's the lowest on health? Still Francis. And his health is probably going down now. His health's going back up. That's good. I think we're going to make it through this cold snap. Okay, Wallace, you finish that wall sec section there, please. What? You knob. You absolute skillless knob. Ugh. Okay, and then can you build a bed? No. Yes, you are a skillless knob. Can you build a bed? How many community members do I have total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six beds uh, in good conditions. Just gonna put another bed here, and another bed here, and another bed there. So that'll be. You know, this, this building's not going to remain like this, um, and I'll move the beds all over the place, but the purpose of winter survival. Okay, everybody seems to have recovered, and uh, it's still cold out, but it's not as cold as it was. This is our, you know, look, the snow has gone. This is our best chance. I don't know if I like the stone courtyard or not. I guess it's easy enough to, to delete and get the stone back if I, if I want it. Go. Okay, beds are done. There's a brazier. Live in that room. Crisis averted. I'm gonna put a library in the keep, but I guess I need to put bookshelves back in this room now too. Uh, where those books decay on the floor there. Okay. Everybody can come off a of convalesce, and I think we survived the cold snap, and we'll go back to construction and mining. They should go mine now. They don't have a, a thing to build. Yeah, so he has gone mining already. These guys are going to build all the beds. Yeah, good. Okay, so. We need to get a, uh, a stove in this room very soon. Uh, I also need to get stairs up there now, don't I? Stuff's probably going to go against that wall. I'm even uh, put a, a back door through the kitchen um, into the keep so that there's a room which directly supplies the great hall. So you can just go get food in the kitchen and uh, go uh, eat in the great hall. No, that's the wrong stuff. And that's roofed now, too. Okay, good. This is about all you can hope to get done in the winter. Everybody's health is good. Everybody's health is good. Animals are hungry. All the animals are hungry. Right, because I... Oof. Oof. Okay. You need to move. No, not the floor, the trough. Let's keep the floor, shall we? Okay, so that will have to close the wall. And I'm actually going to put a couple troughs in this animal pen. Let me think for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so I could put three troughs right there. And that's going to store a lot of hay. The wood pile's still there too. That's fine. 
it's not a terrible place to store wood right now. But uh Yeah, this is just like a little barn stable area for the for the sheep. It's gonna be accessible to the tailors, I guess. That's the plan. Actually, maybe it makes sense to just leave that as a separate pen and bring whatever the work animal is. So if there's like goats to be slaughtered, we'll slaughter them there. Which also reminds me, I have to slaughter my goats. Um, yeah, we got about uh, 15 minutes left on this video, um, so. We are going to just deal with animal stuff now. And that there's still is there a pen marker? Or did I delete the pen mark? I deleted the pen marker. Boy, am I an amateur. Okay. So let's think for a second. Doesn't really matter, I guess, where I put the pen marker. I'm gonna put the pen marker there by the gate. And the gate's gonna be expanded a little bit. I don't want a gate anymore. I want a wood gate. I don't want to delete that. Okay, so... I guess we gotta sort of roll with it here, but I need to get the last stone things built. Um, the roof, the floor, the stairs. So we need to mine, finish the floor, uh, and then urgently it's gonna be... Uh, Foods, uh, sorry, not food. It's gonna be animal, uh, animal pen stuff. Oh, so now the animals can access the hay at least. That's good. Those of them who are still in the structure. Just the majority of them aren't gonna starve. These ones in here might starve, but that's fine. That they're they're, they're self slaughtering basically if they keel over and die. Um, and you know the game doesn't. Um, I don't think anyway. Uh, makes them less nutritious because they were hungry um, when when they died. I don't even know Rimworld does that. That that's a you know because a, a haggard horse is not a good a good a good dinner. I might play Rimworld after this. I don't know. I, every time I mention Rimworld, I'm like, oh, it's such a good game. It's such a good game, um, and it is such a good game. Okay, so we're also now going to need to. So I thought I cut enough trees, but we're doing construction, and there's never enough trees cut. So we're going to wait for them to finish this building. It won't take long. Probably just the rest of uh, day five. Unless we get attacked or something. I, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, probably it's going to happen right at the end of winter. I bet we're going to get a second cold snap, though, based on the, the sort of flow of the cold snap has ended. Now it's just... Uh, we got to get meal prep going. That's like a pretty critical priority. They're getting stone out of the ground right now, and that's good. Second floors on these are going to have windows. Um, probably not on this wall because this is going to be into a wall, um, but facing into the courtyard again, like the, uh, the Smithy building did. And now we've got second floor access. So I'm probably going to put, uh, instead of six beds on the main floor of this building that is for tailoring, uh, there's going to be a tailoring workshop on the main floor, and we're going to have um, two beds on each floor, um, so each building will have two bedrooms on the second floor. That's the plan. Let them finish the roof up there. Do they have the floor done now? Okay, that got its spare room designation. And the floor is done. Okay, so the only thing left to do is get rid of those clay, which I don't need. And, oh, there is a doorway there leading up to the, huh, ah, cool. Yeah, so this is totally, the great hall is going to be accessible to the kitchen. Yep, we're doing that. That's, it sort of wrote itself there. Um, and that's going to have to be a reinforced door uh, because... Oh, does the ramp go into the oh it does okay so we're gonna actually have to mine that ramp out that could cause problems let's not mine the ramp out right now hmm i guess we're gonna leave the kitchen open for the moment 
And I guess I can, can I put the stove back against the stairs? I can. That looks good. Yeah, stove right in the hearth, right in the middle of the room. And smokehouse can go outside. There's already one outside, but, but we'll put probably two smokehouses just out in the courtyard here. One space between them or no spaces between them and offset? Uh, no spaces between them. Oh, spaces. Uh, the other way. Do, do, do. There we go. Okay. And then that, I'm just going to destroy. And as soon as that pops, um, I can send Anais to do cooking. And we've got, uh, and I'll send Sewer to do some hunting. Okay. Uh, now, remember, when you set up to make food for the first time, you need to not use your barley, or else you're going to cook with next year's seed. And because we're, we're, we're like, I've done this before in the winter in this game too by accident. I'm like, oh, okay, I need to cook now. Uh, and I've done a mass cook and wound up just completely fucking myself. Um, so, and great. They're building the smokers there. Boy, this is really coming along. We are, uh, I don't think I've had a, I don't think I've had a playthrough that, that's gone this smoothly. Um, it's probably because I'm taking the time to think and to plan out what I'm going to do on the video before I do the video. Um, you know, and breaking it into hour long play sessions as opposed to like, you know, like a 12 hour grind of building a giant castle. Um, you know, there's probably going to be 12 episodes in the end, but, uh, yeah, so. Day six. It's still cold. See if this cold. Eh, she probably shouldn't be cold now. No, she's not. Yeah. There we go. Um, got to take care of these animals. As soon as that sun comes up. Or he might get up with Elmer. We'll see. Elmer's up. Crank up. Build something. And that means that one of my sheep just died. Uh I need them to stop constructing and start bringing the animals to where they need to go. We're going to have a little haul day. Oh, did my sheep die? Was that what happened? My sheep died. That's not good. That's too bad. I liked my sheep. The sheep, the sheep I couldn't live without. The goats, any number of goats could die. I was going to slaughter them this winter anyway, which... Um, reminds me, I'm going to need to do that. Who is... A lot of mature goats here. So we'll slaughter Moritz uh, and Mustar. We're going to keep Annie. Um, the dog we won't slaughter. And the young goats we won't slaughter. I feel like they're not doing a very good job. Why are you going to cut a tree down? You have animal feeding orders. But aside from the loss of, of a sheep, nothing else is... Well, I guess it's not animal feeding. Animal husbandry is actually governed by Hall, isn't it? Um, we're going to leave Seward on animal husbandry, but everybody else is going to go to hauling. There we go. They start to do things that look useful and meaningful.
now, now we can break that down. And Anais is going to start cooking. And uh, Yeva is going to do research now. Good. This is going much better. And what we're actually, we are going to put a door there. Has to be reinforced. Meat smokers. Actually, uh, I've been watching. I, th I think I might have mentioned this in one of the other videos, but I've been watching a Tudor farm documentary. It's like a, a five or six hour um, historical recreation of uh, Tudor farm, and they like explain the processes. And so, like, now I know how to do things that I didn't know how to do otherwise. But uh, a lot of kiln building, a lot of smoker building, a lot of kiln building. Um, very interesting. Very interesting processes. Uh, totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. Like astonishing how you know air conditioning worked back in the day with like wetting tile floors and like they understood that the science worked but they didn't know why the science worked and that's 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 part of what i find fascinating about this uh, this particular time period okay we got another there's six days of winter so <laughs> Um, unfortunately, we only got uh, wait, through eight days or so before uh, before the, the end of the stream here. But we'll probably put, put in one more full day um, and try to try to get some stuff cooked. I may as well uh, set up these bedrooms now, right? I understand. Okay, so we'll have and we'll have a little. Four by four. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna have little religious nooks, um, one in each building. There's literally no other use for those uh, corners. Um, I guess I could put like armor storage in them, but I didn't feel like that's necessary. We're just gonna put more beds. It's not like I'm short on materials right now. Mm. Beds are going to go right against the wall there. We're actually going to put a stone brazier uh, in each in the front corner of each room. And then we'll put uh, windows uh, when there's time. We'll get around to that. We think put one there and one there and one there and one there. That's that's good. That's good. Um, that might actually be too many windows. Um, this one might get occluded by just like this one might get occluded by the, the windows offset. Yeah, they are. So that that's good too. That sort of gap between uh, windows. Just slightly different firing lines if, if uh, an archer standing in the window. Not, not that I ever expect the enemy to be inside this courtyard. Um, although, you know, they, they could get through the door in the next attack. Um, uh, the next big attack, which a deer carcass decomposed. We had... A, oh, there, I guess there was a deer on the stockpile that whole time. Why, why is there a... Is there a fucking wild wolf in my... I don't even understand how that... It must have happened when the door was open and then the... <laughs> Sneaky they are, though. This wolf has been in here eating, and my dog hasn't done anything. The wolf has been in here eating probably both the goat carcasses off the, uh... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, there's my goat carcasses. So they're, they're actually not in a good spot, either. Um, I need this to not be an animal carcass stockpile. I need to move the butchery into the food production building. Yeah, and there's, there's space in that corner for uh, like a fermentation setup. I 
Okay, but we've got we've got some food now anyway. The, the people are gonna live on red currant pie for the season. Door, the windows are all closed. <sighs> but yeah, it's uh everything's coming up for Ravensworth. Uh, the community is doing fine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my little um, stream end screenshot here, um, so that I can uh, maybe maybe create a time lapse at the end, like an intro time lapse for the last video or something. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all for me for now. This has been Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management game from Foxy Voxel. If you like watching me play games, if you uh, want to play other games with me, uh, because I play some multiplayer games, including multiplayer survival building games, um, hit me up. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. It's uh, Pomo underscore Cowboy on Twitter. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Keep it peaceful out there.